Hey guys, what's up? I am Yalik, and in today's Boom Beach video, I'm going to be explaining Private Bullet's two features of Private Bullet, his pain tolerance and his taunt, um, because a lot of guys in my task force do not seem to understand how to use these, and it gets really frustrating when you specify in an op note, bring bullet and taunt, and either they don't bring bullet, because they don't see the relevance, or they bring bullet, but they don't taunt, which still, you know, negates the purpose. Um, so, I have built a base builder example base, and I'm going to show uh, a little bit about how, how private bullet works. So first of all, thing to note, all of the heroes have a passive ability. In bullet's case, sorry for all the clicking here, it is pain tolerance. Um, We'll explain what that means in a minute. With uh, Everspark, as you probably know, she spits out critters just randomly every so often. Kavan gives um, a little bit of a damage reduction bonus, and uh, Brick throws grenades every so often. Pretty high-powered grenades, actually. Um, bullets is pain tolerance. What is pain tolerance? When the hero is hit, he ignores all damage that exceeds the damage limit. Damage limit per hit. 1300. So, what does that mean? Okay, so let's see. Max level boom cannons. Uh, this would have no effect on him because their max damage here is uh, 1210. So that means when the boom cannon shoots bullet, it's going to deal all the da this damage is less than the 1300. And so it's going to deal its full 1210 damage. However, let me go find someone in my task force who has ice, maybe. Somebody who is max level with some ice. Uh, that boom cannon would do more if they have a damage boost. So let's see. Yeah, he's got ice and he's got boost. So his damage per second is 1210 plus 895. So he's over 2000. So if I try to attack this base with bullet, not taunting or anything, this boom cannon shoots bullet. It can, it's capable of dealing up to 2,000, it's almost 2,100 damage, but because of his pain tolerance feature, he's only going to absorb 1,300 of that. So we've knocked off 800 and actually like 900 damage off what this thing can do. This is why Bullock can survive longer than all of your other troops. Brick gets shot in the face with this boom cannon and she's down before you can blink and all the other heroes too and just about everything else um, so this doom cannon for example is capable of doing uh, 25 plus 18 it's like 4,000 damage roughly I'm not even gonna do the math it's a lot of damage that will one shot a tank all day however when shooting at bullet because of his pain tolerance feature it will only be able to do the max of his pain tolerance so 1300 so a Doom Cannon against Bullet, Bullet is a great tool to use against a Doom Cannon because he just makes it waste a whole bunch of the damage it's capable of doing. Now, second thing about Bullet, that is just his passive ability, Pain Tolerance. However, when you use Taunt, and only while he is taunting, yeah, this does not apply to Energy Drink, so Energy Drink, uh, if he gets shot by that Doom Cannon, it's still going to do 1300 damage. It can't do any more, nor can the Boom Cannon. However, when Bullet is taunting, his damage limit per hit drops depending on what level you're, you're at. So currently I have this ability maxed, I have him maxed and this maxed, so the damage limit, limit per hit drops to 100. That goes for any tower. So if it's Sniper Tower, like so, capable of doing 296 damage to bullet. Again, this is a base with no ice. The, the sniper tower can only do 100 while he is taunting. If it's a boom cannon capable of doing 1210, or 2000 in the case of my friend with ice, it can still only do 100 damage while he's taunting. If it's that doom cannon capable of doing over 4000 damage per shot, it can only do 100 damage while bullet is taunting. So that makes a huge, huge difference 
in the amount of time Bullet will stay alive. And if you've got Bullet out there, there's usually a reason that you want him there absorbing damage so your other troops can survive. We're going to demonstrate this. Before we do that, however, there are exceptions, and we're going to cover those quickly. Um, those are all towers. The towers I've mentioned so far, a sniper, a cannon, a boom cannon, a doom cannon. Um, those are all towers that do single shot damage. A mortar too, it only shoots one shot at a time. It does splash damage, but it only shoots one shot at a time. However, machine guns do not do single shot damage. They do continuous damage, and that's a different thing. Same with the flamethrower. Actually, so this machine gun is capable of doing 156 damage per second. Um, you see that? It seems surprisingly low, but it doesn't do single shot damage. And this is 399 damage per second. Still not great, but these two towers do continuous damage. And we're going to go to the base builder, and we're going to demonstrate why that is important. I've got 27 million windows open. <laughs> So I've set up this base. First, I'm going. So first, I'm going to show you bullet against boom cannons, untaunted, and we're going to see how long he lives. I'm just going to park him in the middle of those boom cannons and let him do his thing, and we'll note how long he survives. And that's all we're doing here. We're going to smoke him in there so that he's not doing or receiving damage before. He's just barely covered. So, not going to taunt, just going to sit here and watch. Might get a little boring. Okay, so these boom cannons are capable of doing 12-10 damage, and you will see that they are killing bullet slowly because he has a lot of damage to do, or to absorb. But they are getting his health bar down, because they're doing um, 1,200 damage per shot out of his, like, 20-something thousand. Okay, so his bar got to about maybe a quarter or so, and we'll retreat. We're going to do the same thing, and we're going to see what difference taunt makes with the damage limitation. my energy drink of choice. Okay, so let's see if we can do this in one fewer smoke here. Or not one fewer, but just like a little less stretched out. Not that the GBE matters, just it's always worthwhile to work on your smoking. Okay, so when he pops out of smoke, he's going to be taunting. just going to keep on taunting. And look at his health bar. It's barely dropped. Taunt again as soon as it expires. His health bar has barely moved because these boom cannons are not dealing their 1210 per second. We're going to keep on taunting. They are dealing 100 per shot. He's barely scratched. That is the difference between taunt and not taunt. That is a huge difference. His health bar was down to a third, probably more like a quarter the previous time. This time, he's still way over 90%. Because those boom cannons, as powerful as they are, it could have been doom cannons either. It doesn't matter how powerful they are. All of the one-hitters have that extra damage negated when you use taunt, and also by his pain tolerance. So, like, the two actually amplify each other. Taunt is basically an extreme version of his pain tolerance passive ability. However, so that's what Bullet can do to boom cannons. There could have been there could have been ten more boom cannons there. He'd have taken them all down. Taunting. But watch what happens when Bullet goes up against continuous damage. And we'll even use taunt here. Because it's not going to make a difference. Why don't we put them first we'll do the machine guns. I tried to put these 
I separated these so that the damage from one set of towers can't affect the others. Uh, the flamethrowers can't reach him and in the middle of the machine guns and vice versa. So, And again, this is going to be using taunt. We just saw what taunt did to boom cannons, which are single shot defenses. Okay? Now, he's taking down that machine gun, but the machine guns, look how quickly, even taunting, they are chewing through his health bar because they don't do the same kind of damage. It is not one hitter damage. This is even taunting. This is like when he was attacking the boom cannons without taunting. Just that quickly, his health bar goes down. So, this is a weakness of bullet. You don't want to use him against this kind of tower. Uh, You'll see the same thing with flamethrowers in a second, and obviously that means this applies to hot pots as well. So observe. And again, just remember what he did to the boom cannons while taunting. For comparison's sake here. Do the same with the flamethrowers, like I said. Set this up so that... I set it up so it's like all... There, everything is pretty much the same distance from the shore, same distance from each other. Same walk, same number of smokes. Nothing can interfere with the experiment of any of the other towers. So here we go, with the flamethrowers. Yeah, and we're taunting. The whole way. And we want to make sure we get taunt off as quickly as possible. Because without the taunting... Well... Actually, let's do this again. We'll show one of these. I won't show both, but we'll show one of these. Okay, so his health bar, not as bad as against the machine guns, but still, he lost half his health on that attack. Now let's try for comparison's sake. Uh, we'll do the flamethrowers again. What, what applies to the flamethrowers would apply to the machine guns. Now, the machine guns did more damage. We're going to do the machine guns, finally. This will be the last demonstration. Um, try the machine guns, not taunting, and see if it really makes any difference. His health bar got down to a quarter, maybe 20%, while taunting. See if it makes any difference at all here. Just leave him parked. Not going to do anything at all. Just let him sit and let the machine guns work. It doesn't look like it makes the slightest bit of difference at all. By the time he gets that other machine gun down against continuous damage, his taunt is completely ineffective. That is more or less the same as it was last time. So, that is taunt and pain tolerance. Pain tolerance is good. Um, so, if, for example, like I said, when you're using energy drink, he still gets that, uh, that pain tolerance ability built in. However, the taunt is the more extreme version Oh good, we got a statue going. Taunt is the more extreme version of that, where any of these big hitter defenses can barely touch him. However, as you know, you do have to be careful of things that do continuous damage. Shock blasters are also very bad. Um, machine guns and flamethrowers. So, that is the demonstration of why it is important to use when, when someone, you know, when someone says bring bullet and taunt, this would be why. You see the difference. It's night and day. Um, I wish I had set up a base for rocket launchers. Actually, let's go on the base builder and see if we can find one of those crazy... I know, this is getting to be 15 minutes. It's a little longer than I wanted. But let's see if we can find one of those like crazy screen lagger bases and see what... Uh, you know, like rockets everywhere. And see what rockets do with bullet. Hello? It's because i got so much going on with my tablet right now. I have one video cooking up. I'm making a second. I'm online. Yeah. Oh, there I am, right up at the top. <laughs> Shocking rockets. Let's see. What is that? Uh, no, no, no. One of these... Mm, don't 
like it because there's going to be other things and we want sort of a pure experiment, I guess. Ah, come on, there used to be like a million of these bases. People used to do this all the time. Just build a base with nothing but rockets or build a base with nothing but boom cannons, which is hilarious. By the way, those are very easy to beat. Uh, those are snipers. I got excited there for a second. I mean, you see the boom cannon base? There we go. Perfect. If you see that boom cannon base, that would be very... You know exactly what would happen on that base because we've already demonstrated that. So here we go. Rockets for days. We're going to put Bullet out there and see how long he lasts. Yeah, I know. And finish up the coffee. So this video will be a little longer than I wanted, and I apologize. Um, really, it could be a very quick demonstration. However... And because that happened, we need to go back and hit test again. Could have been a very quick video, however, I really want to show the difference between different kinds of towers and the effect that they have on bullets. So first we're going to do not taunting. We're just going to let them sit. There it is. And really the point is, in the, with this one, he's going to die either way because there's so much attacking him. We just want to see what the time is on the clock at the end of this. Wow, it can't even process. Unbelievable. Uh, like how long it takes for Bullet to die. Hmm. If Taunt has any effect on these towers, then it should take slightly longer the next time we do this. Yes, there will be one more time. So, 3 and 46, 347. Okay? And... Boy, man, that's a hurting. <laughs> Alright. See if he lasts any longer this time around. Mm, tree. Come from. Don't care. Gotcha. Oh, it's still lagged up from <laughs> that's awesome. Alright, last one. Oh, there we go. Okay, good. I was afraid we are going to have to like go back out of it again and stuff. Okay. So, we're going to taunt this time. Doesn't really matter which way he goes. I'm not even going to have a chance to taunt again because... I'm going to hit taunt again, just because. Um, but he's not even going to have the, the ability to, to do it, because he's not going to last that long. Since he came out of smoke, it's been like two seconds game time. And it's going to be 347-ish again. So effectively, no difference there. So maybe it wouldn't have made, made too much of a difference with my task force on fang. Oh, actually, no. There it is. 343, 344. Um, he, he was able to survive that first volley, which in the first case he wasn't. By 347, he was down. So it does make a difference. Uh, interesting to know. I just learned something new. Um, I thought so, but I wasn't quite sure. But there it is. There's your visual demonstration. He got through that first volley of rockets, and he was actually doing some damage. So anyway, hope this helps some people. I'm going to encourage my guys in my task force to watch it because some people need it. Anyway, if you liked the video, if you found it informative, give me a thumbs up, drop a comment and say hi. Uh, I'm Yalek and hope you have a great day.